All right, skinning. Now this one takes a little while, so I'm going to try to do this in 10 minutes. All right, basically works like this. There's three methods to skinning. First method, very easy. Uh, basically, it's just skinning it. Animation, skin, bind, skin, smooth, bind. And that will skin everything to the joints, but it's at a soft bind. So what that, what that means is, is when I rotate this, everything will squash. So now I have to make surfaces dependent on certain bones. Okay, now this is the fast way to do it. So take a vertex, grab it, go to shell. Okay. And then go into this button. And I know this first bone is um, my root bone. So I'm going to take it, have root. And if I click here, you'll see that there's an actual one, but I have a refresh problem. So you're going to see one there and not in the video. So one's here, it's on replace, and I'm just going to flood that part. Uh, what that did is it flooded it to the point where it will not bend now if I rotate it. Okay, so now I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to take the next bone and go to shell. So the next bone up has governess over that. And that is going to be called gun rot one. And because I named everything conventionally, this is a very easy process. If you have something called root one or bone one, bone two, bone three, sometimes that gets a little tough. Now there is a paint weights tool. I would stay away from it like the bloody freaking plague. Um, it is a complete uh, headache. It works. Uh, it works and corresponded to those who practice with it, I guess. So I should say it doesn't fail utterly. It's just without practice with it, it fails utterly. Okay. Especially here. Uh, we have to make sure that everything's either out, you know, above a 50% ratio. So in other words, in here, I'll show you what that means. Okay, what, now what bone is this? See, this is a bone that I did not label. And it is called joint five. So what I'm talking about is the ratio is if I grab this vertex and I go to shell, there is a one to one ratio. Here, where I said there is a one, that value is one. That means it's going to work out quite nicely. If you have it at a 0.5 or less, um, Unity hates it. So just keep that in mind. So here's, here's an advantage of having a bone there. I could weight it right there. All right, now, this whole thing should be on joint five, but let's do something else. Let's flood that. What if I lower it? Well, that's going to have some problematic problems here, right? So here, this bone, the one that actually governs these vertices right here, should be attached to uh, this bone. Okay, so what's this bone? That is called lower, I, I believe lower gun. So now it will stretch those vertices out. So here's how you do that. You take it and you turn off bones, you go to vertices, you grab these vertices, and here's the other way to skin. So you can go to component editor and instead of joint five, what you want to do is uh, hide zero columns off and you want gun lower or lower gun. So you highlight the entire column hit one. Now it's on a one to one ratio for that one. And if I hide zeros again, I should see lower gun. So that's the other way of doing it without flood. So you get to choose which way you want to do it. Uh, sometimes you have to kind of do it that way. Okay. So how's this go? Well, let's see. Let's 
This bone should have been up a little higher, I think. Yes, it should have been up a little higher. Okay, so I'm going to watch some stuff in here. This is probably going to be turned into a two-parter because of that fact. So I can lower this down. And that would have govern over that. This whole part right here. Needs to be moved down to here. And these vertices need to be moved down some. I could move the bone, but remember it's skinned, so that would be a very difficult thing to do. There we go. That's how you repair something like that. Now, if you ever unskinned this model, it would explode and go back to the transforms that it once had. Making even further of a mess, but we're not going to unskin this ever. Okay, so there we go. Now I know this part should go with lower gun. So I go to shell and blood. I think you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is flood these parts corresponding to the part it rotates with. And then I will meet you back in the next video where we concentrate on character development. All right. So on to the next movie. Continue to uh, add parts to your model so they do not deflate. So here's a test to show you how it works. If you did it right, you got to rotate your part after the fact. Let's say I rotate that bone by turning bones back on and it should rotate just like a robot. Okay, and that's how you test it out. Don't forget to undo. On to the next video.